Welcome to a brand new series, Minecraft Survival. And after a year of playing hardcore, there's only one thing I want to do. Oh man, that feels good. With this series, I want to try and capture some of the magic from my original Let's Play world by making some cool builds and having as much fun as possible. But to do that, I'm going to need to gear up. Now, I don't really have too much of a goal for this episode, but it would be nice to get a full set of iron gear. Well, that's a throwback, isn't it? And I would, of course, like to get a starter house set up, seeing as well the focus is going to be doing quite a bit of building. And oh my, I gotta say, it's so nice to not be in hardcore. I've been playing that game mode for over a year. Now, if I could just find one more white sheep, I can make myself a bed. Oh, yes. Come here. Sorry. Right, first bed in a new world? Check. Nice. Now, I've specially selected this seed for this world, and I think it's quite a special one. And of course, we'll uncover what's in the seed as the series progresses. But if you do want to check it out sooner than that, I am going to leave it in the description. And then I guess if you want to play along, you can, well, play along. That'd be kind of fun. Now, I just want to make myself a little furnace. Oh, and coal. Perfect. Oh, just what I wanted. Because as you can see, my hunger's running out already. I'm sure dying in the intro didn't really help. Now, if I make myself a furnace, slap it down coal and raw mutton sure i think while i'm waiting for that to smell i'm just going to collect some more cobblestone oh maybe i'll find some iron as well maybe underwater cave is this a good idea any iron oh geez this is not a good idea get out i know i can die i don't actually want to die everything's fine everything's fine all right food smelt it up thank you right i think i have a little bit of an explore around this place i should probably pick up saplings along the way because i do want to find a spot to put our base and right now i'm not really sure where that's going to be so i don't know if we can have any of these saplings anywhere near us and well obviously it's just worth picking up now isn't it plus you oh you're so lucky you're so lucky you can live, you can live. Ooh, more coal up there. We'll definitely grab some of that. All right, coal acquired. Gonna head back to where I was chopping those trees, see if any saplings have dropped yet. I don't wanna leave until I got some of those. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oak and birch. But let's keep moving on. Look at that over there. Whoa. Oh, savannah trees as well. Let's definitely head over in that direction. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, we're going to collect so many wood types. This is awesome. Oh, and sugar cane. Oh, that's good. Give me some of you. Thank you. Oh, there's so many animals here. 360. Oh. You know what? I should probably sleep. All right, let's keep exploring and head over to those savanna trees. Just like this. Oh, nice. Acacia wood, baby. Come on, I need your saplings. Three wood types already? I'm taking that. Oh, oh mangrove. Yo, and a village over there. All right. Oh, man, this seed is so good. Right, I think let's do something a little bit daring here. Let's craft ourselves a boat. Grab the crafting table. All right, we're going off. Come on. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. All right, let's go check out that mangrove. Four wood types already? I told you this seed was good. All right, let's hop off here, grab the boat, and try and get one of those... What are they called? Mangrove propagule. Propagule, okay. All right, let's grab a few of these. I don't really fancy chopping down the mangrove trees right now. <gasps> Turtle! Oh yeah. Anyway, ignoring that guy. Let's go check out that village, because I'm hoping they have some farms, because man, potatoes are such good early game food. Oh, I see hay. That's good. We're about to make bread out of that. All right, hello everyone. Hope you're all doing good. I'm definitely not going to exploit you later in the series. What the heck? Is that a shipwreck in a village? Yo, this is crazy. Emeralds, iron, ore, oh, and lapis. Oh, this is really good. Like, hello? What the heck? Oh, leather armor. Oh man, my inventory's full already. Put this armor on. Now I look like an idiot. Oh, but I guess it's worth it. Right, where are your farms? Oh, over here. Right, I need to clear out my inventory already. What can I get rid of? Buddy, I need you to have planted potatoes. I need it. Yes, I saw one. Oh, this is so good. What do we get? Beetroot seeds, carrots, potatoes, normal seeds. Oh, all of the crop types in one field. You are a good villager. Maybe I won't exploit you after all. But carrying on, can we find some other cool loot in this place? Not in this room. Maybe the church? This village is massive. Oh, potion thingy. Yeah, we'll take that. Oh, imagery's full again. Brilliant. Sorry. 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 Oh, horses. Um, how can I get a saddle? Can I get a saddle from a village? Oh, I'm not too sure. Right, I kind of want to move on from this village, but I do feel like I should collect all the hay bales. So I'm going to make myself a hoe, just like this. Get rid of this raw chicken. I guess we'll leave that crafting table as well. And then go around collecting all these hay bales. I picked up the chicken again. Holy, that is a lot of villagers around here. Yo. Hi, everyone. Got anything good to trade? Depth Strider 3. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Obviously, I can't buy that right now, but I'm sure we can come back later. Now, I still need to find a place for a base. Good rhyme, bro. But I'm not really sure this is the sort of area that I'm looking for. Hmm. I need to find one soon because uh, my inventory is a complete mess right now. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Cursed bed right now. Cursed bed. I'm going to plonk my boat down and wait to sleep. I want to take a little sail around in the morning and try to find a nice place to build. Okay, night-night. 
So off I went in search of somewhere to call home. I came across all sorts of different biomes, including this desert and a mesa. I also found myself a jungle to grab some bamboo and a dark oak forest for its saplings. But not long after that, I found somewhere that might be the place for me to live. Cool sprucies. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Nice big mountain up there. More hills, a nice little valley. Could this be the place? Or oh, this might be it, you know. Oh crap, there's a skeleton. Please welcome me to your land. <laughs> My land now, nerd. I'll have a little look around here. I know there's trees everywhere. And you know what? This is kind of reminding me of the original Let's Play series. Yep, you know what? I think this might be the spot. Am I going to do it? Am I going to commit? No, that's it. I'm making a crafting table. I'm putting that down. I'm putting my bed down. And I'm putting a chest down. Oh yeah, unload all this. We're home, baby. I'm also going to craft a whole bunch of axes. That's probably too many. And I think I'm going to clear out a bunch of these trees so we can sort of see what we're working with. And without further ado, for the first time this series, time lapse. Okay, we've got a pretty decent space all cleared out now. And this should be a nice space to put our house. But before we start building, there still are a few things I need to do. Well, I might make another chest, actually, to put all these axes. Right, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to craft a bucket, grab myself some water. I should probably pick up this coal as well. Oh, should I go caving? Nope, don't get distracted. Right, come over here, put this water down. Perfect. I want to make a little farm to plant the crops that we looted from the village. Because at the moment, this is our only source of food. And well, dying of starvation would be kind of embarrassing. All right, that should be pretty good. Now, next up, I'm going to plant a few of these saplings. So I do have a little build in mind and I'm definitely going to need some of this wood later on. We'll put a dark oak there and we'll just plant a bunch of these along here. But there is one more wood type I'm going to need and I think I see some up over in this direction. And oh boy, there it is. Sprucies. <gasps> Iron. I get spruce first. Oh yeah, come on. Give me a sapling. There we go. Give me one more for good luck. Oh, just as I said it. Man, I do really want to go caving, though. I really want that iron. Uh, I didn't bring any blocks with me. Right, just grab some of this cobble. Oh, there's mobs down there as well. Um, all right, we've got some iron. Here we go. Oh, I kind of feel like I should go down there, though. Um, You know what? Screw it. I haven't made myself a shield or anything, but... Oh! Right, skeleton, you, you have to go down. You have to go. Goodbye. Please leave. There we go. Ooh, emeralds. I'll take that. Right, yeah, I need iron. Okay, um, that was embarrassing. Got the arrow in my head. Anyway, let's carry on down here. I want to get full iron gear, and for that, I'm going to need to go cave in, so no better time than now. Oh, we got company again. Hello. Yeah, bye. Oh, iron. Yes. Right, let's get up there. Thank you very much. Oh, deep state level already. Okay, well, this is going well. Oh, there's quite a bit of iron here. And a creeper, apparently. Okay, very good. Let's grab some iron. <laughs> Damn it. Um, emergency crafting table. Pickaxe. Yes, good. Back on track. Well, that goes down there. All right, I'm going to try to get down there as well. Anything cool for me? Like, oh, I was going to say like diamonds. This is not diamonds. Please die. Oh my God. Okay, food. I need food. I only have two mutton. I am not prepared for this. Oh, I cooked all that steak earlier. I could have brought it with me. Oh, all right. Just a bit more iron. I think I'm going to leave. Have a little quick peek in here. Oh man, yeah, this cave goes... Ooh, okay, I think that is enough for me at this stage. I only have one cooked mutton. I'm going to have to find my way out of this place. Come on, I don't want to have an actual death in episode one. Yep, I'm sure that's not going to help. Okay, goodbye, everyone. It was nice seeing you. Come on, get out, get out. Oh, please don't be any more mobs up here. Oh, I can see the top. This has been a big climb. Everything's fine, right? Eat your last mutton. Oh, I'd like to say we're home, but we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> Good one. Oh, where is the house? I just need the bed. Yes. Oh, come on, bed. Let's go. Oh, and a fresh new day. Give me some food. Why did I not bring that earlier? Oh, man. You know what? Get all this iron in there as well. So I'm going to grab myself some iron armor. Oh, yeah. I'm planting these spruce saplings too. I'm going to need a lot of this stuff. Right. I'm going to wait for this iron to smell. Maybe grab a few materials and maybe we can get our iron gear. Oh, gold one's almost done. Let's go. All right, that should be all the iron smelted, I think. Oh, yes. And as you can see here, I've got a whole bunch of stone. We'll get to that in a little minute. Because first, oh, yes, it's iron armor time. Right, get rid of these. And on with the iron. All the iron drought returns. If you know, you know. But with that, I actually do want to take a little bit of this stone. You know what? I'm going to need another furnace. Because I want to turn a bunch of this into smooth stone. So I'm fairly certain I'm going to want to use that for our build. Which, now I'm thinking about it, these trees are right in the way. And it's at this point, I'm thinking to myself, why did I plant these here? Oh, God. And I'm also thinking, why did the biggest oak tree in the world grow here? You know what? It's actually kind of cool. Oh, but it is right in the way. Right, I'm going to have to tower up here and tear it down. Oh, 
All right, we'll probably left a log up there and it's gonna be floating there for the rest of the episode, but we'll worry about that later. Because right now, I think I wanna start building once all these leaves have gone. Come on, please leave. Oh, uh, all right, be right back. Oh, I was just waiting for a second. We got our first wandering trader. Oh, hello. Anything cool? Mm. I don't know. I do have four emeralds. Do I really want anything? You know what? I am actually going to buy some sand. I mean, that was probably a terrible deal, but we do have the achievement. Plus, you know, free leads. Oh, God, please. Sorry. 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 Hey, but I tell you what, these leads are going to come in super handy. Okay, back to waiting. Right, everything should be smelted up now. Oh, good timing. I think I want to turn some of this stone into stone bricks. Then grab this cobble, some andesite, and start plotting out a little space for the build. Right, so I think we'll have nine across this way, and then come over here, just like this. And then I just got to connect it up. All right, there we go. Right, I think as a start, this is a pretty nice space to work with. This is only going to be our start house, remember? But that doesn't mean we can't make it look fancy. I think I'm going to start by raising up these walls here. So let's get that done. And just as that's finished, our first spruce tree's grown. Right, chop this down, because I definitely need more saplings. And yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. I, mean, I do probably need to get in here and tidy up some of this texture in. Yeah, but I'll get to that. I think as a base, that's looking pretty nice. Now, I kind of organised these chests here a little bit. And as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of wood. But now only 10 spruce logs. Of which I think I'm going to need quite a lot more. And if I break this one, we're going to have four saplings. Which means that I can plant a mega spruce tree. Now, I've got a bone here. So we'll turn that into bone meal. Now, I don't want pods all everywhere. So I think I'm going to plant this a little bit away from the base, the base being a stone box. Uh, I think here looks like a good spot. Let's plant it down and grow. Oh, damn it. Well, there's some big spruce trees over there. Right, let's eat some steak and... All right, let's drop some of this spruce wood. Huh. Yeah, that effort probably wasn't worth it. All right, quick sleep. Oh, and a fresh new day. Right, let's get rid of this and craft up a whole bunch of this spruce wood. Oh! Oh, you're kidding me! Bruh. Oh, I missed the chest! Oh man, my heart cannot handle this, please! Oh, I had the chest organized and everything! Oh man. Right, well, organization's gone completely out the window. This is my base, I need it to look tidy. All right, well, um, I think I'm gonna craft up these spruce items and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Oh, all right, I'm back. I've crafted up a whole bunch of different wood stuff. We're still gonna ignore this chest though, but I wanna come in and start adding some wood stuff along this wall. I'm gonna start by adding these stairs along here with some slabs on either side and then trap doors in the middle. Middle. And then that way, you have these nice little arches. Look at that. That's nice. Oh, now I'm looking at it. I think I'm going to put some trapdoors here as well underneath the stairs. And yeah, I think that looks nice. I like it. Just going to have to do this on all the sides though. Nice, that's looking good. Now I'm just gonna come around the back here and pillar up just so we can get on here. Now I wanna start putting supports coming out of the top so we can start building up a second floor. And I think starting off with the barrels is gonna give a nice bit of detail. So we'll plonk a load of these down here. Right spots for the pillars laid out, looking good. Now I'm gonna put the spruce in my offhand then build each one up by three. Right, let's do one more and have a quick look. Don't forget to strip that. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a nice height. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now just to do it for all of them. Oh, I'm gonna have the perfect amount of spruce logs. Yes, let's go. Right, strip these two that I forgot. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now I want to try and connect these at the top as well. I think similar to like we did down below. I'm going to use some stairs just like that. We'll put some trap doors here and here. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Yes, yes, yes. Right, this is actually looking really cool. We are going to need to put something in between these holes, right? We can't just have big open giant windows. And I did smoke up that glass that we got from the wandering tray there. I'm going to craft some of that into glass panes. I want to hop back up here and grab some of this oak log. I think if I put it here and on the other side as well. Glass pane in the middle. Mm, it's looking pretty good. Oh, but I do have another idea. Oh, I've already got it on me. Dark oak log. You know, I'll grab some more oak as well. I think I'm going to make a bunch of stairs. Right, back up the top. I'm just going to tear this out. If I take these spruce slabs run along here, just like that. I'm going to run the dark oak along here. Then come back in with the stripped oak. And we'll go stair, glass, stair. I think that's going to look good. So I'm going to do it on all of these front windows. If we can get the front looking good, then we know the rest of the build is going to look pretty nice. Oh, okay, I'm kind of liking that. Kind of do low-key think that the stone is a little bit too high. Oh, we got a friend. <laughs> Okay, well, nature took its course. Where was I? Oh, right, yeah. I'm kind of thinking this looks a bit too high with a stone. So I think instead of lowering the whole build, because I absolutely... Oh! Because I do not want to be tearing down that thing and rebuilding it. Oh, my... Oh, it's a baby! I just wanted some dirt! It's a baby villager! Okay, I just wanted some dirt. Oh, my... Come on! 
Oh, they're everywhere. Right, let me just grab some dirt and I'll explain what I'm talking about. Instead of tearing down the whole thing and rebuilding it, if I put a layer of dirt out the front, uh, it's going to look a little bit weird at the start. But you're going to have to bear with me. Right, keep bringing it out the front. Just along here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, it's not as high now. Kind of sat a little bit more up on a hill, which is going to give us a nice decoration opportunity later. But yeah, if we take a little flyover look here, you can see it's looking pretty good. I just need to do all around the other sides. And as you can see, I've pretty much run out of spruce wood. So I'm going to grab a spare axe and get to chopping that giant spruce tree. But yeah, let's get to chopping and then we'll start doing some building. And okay, all the second floor is in. Ignore that weird scaffolding made out of stairs. <laughs> and ignore the fact that I actually built it wrong the first time. Oh, geez. Let's take a look from a different angle. This is looking pretty good. I'm kind of wondering how stairs would look in here. Bye, 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 stair. Come on. Okay. Does this look any better? Oh, yeah. I actually do kind of prefer that, you know? Right. This house is starting to come together, but we are kind of missing a vital ingredient. And no, I don't mean a doorway. We have one of these now. I'm, of course, talking about a roof. Now, I kind of was thinking of grabbing some of this dark oak planks and using this as a roof trim. But I was kind of thinking of having something a bit more colorful for the actual bulk of the roof. Now, if I look in here, I'm seeing a lot of greys, a lot of browns. I mean, I do have some hay bales. They're kind of colourful. Oh, I've got an idea. Meat roof? No, that's probably really stupid. Note to self, do not keep that in the edit. Oh, who am I kidding? I probably did. Right, I think we're going to have to have a little adventure because I do remember going past a mesa when I was on the way here, which was over in this direction. So I'm going to make the journey back down to the coast. Where are you? Oh, yeah. And I'm like 90% sure it was this way. All right. See you when I get there. Oh, it's popping into view. Come on, get me there. Please. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, and that's just what I'm looking for. Some red sand. I'm going to need quite a lot of this. Because if I remember correctly, four red sand equals one red sandstone. And that's exactly what I want to use. And do you know what? It's kind of at this point that I'm realizing how much of a ripoff that sand trade was. Seeing as well, I, I does it now. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I didn't bring any tools with me. Oh, I didn't bring a bed either. Oh, this is what this oak would though. Oh man. Oh, damn, I even need stone. All right, make a bunch of shovels. That's not how you make shovels. That's how you make shovels. All right, red sand montage. Oh, of course. Of course, that's where all the red sand is. Are you serious? There's another one. Yep, I'm not getting red sand from down there. No way. I'm gonna have to make my way down there. Oh, ooh. right. Let's try avoid those guys. I am not ready for that yet. Oh, the chest right there as well. You know what? Screw it. Oh, name tag. Yes. Oh, if I could get a saddle. You know what? Screw the rails. Oh, okay. Right. Goodbye. Check this one. Saddle. Got an apple. Oh. oh. Oh god, they're mad. This isn't good. Oh, I just wanted some red sand. I think we have to come loot this place at a different point in the series. Oh, this is so bad. Why did I not bring a bed? Oh, my saviors. There's a village. Oh my god, there's a camel. Oh, but I don't have a saddle. Right, get me in here. Get to sleep. Oh, fresh day. Where are my heroes? You know what? This camel's my hero. Look at me. I will come back for you. I will come back for you. I just need a saddle first. Oh my god. Oh, that looks like easy red sand to get. Right. This is cool though. There's a lot of good stuff around here. Right. I think I've tried to cue the red sand montage about three times now. But this time it's actually for real. Red sand montage. All right, I've got over a couple of stacks here of the red sandstone. I kind of think some of this... Is this orange? Yeah. Maybe grab a stack of this as well would be pretty good. I think that'd be quite nice to blend in with the red sandstone. All right, one stack. Easy peasy. And I mean, I've traveled quite a long way. And I did say this series was about having fun. Oh, and there might be a saddle in there. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've set my spawn at that desert village anyway, so I'll take it on. I know you'd all laugh at me if I didn't anyway. I can see a loot chest up there. A thing spawned. Okay, yes, it has. Yes, it has. Please leave. Goodbye. Right, just get up. This isn't so bad. Ooh, feather falling one. I mean, that's kind of the worst possible. Oh, there's a horn! There's a horn! Okay, I think I've never had one of these before. Oh, I've been trying, I'll take it. Will you just please leave? You know what? Actually, I'm leaving. Oh, my. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye. Right, Iron Golem, you coming out? Help defend me! Defend me! Oh! Oh. Oh, he's mad. Oh, he's mad. Huh, this isn't so bad. <laughs> oh, he's getting yeeted. We're over here, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is actually pretty fun. I'm glad I came. You're a good guy. Take a piece of dirt. They mention it. All right, how do I get out of this place? Ooh, pumpkins. Taking those. Thank you. All right, now we're leaving. And uh, I am kind of lost. I think it's over this way. Should see another pillar outpost just over this hill. Oh, yeah, look, there's the village. Oh, the desert temple's right here. Oh, I forgot about this. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's another chance at a saddle. Now, don't actually die. Come down nice and gentle. Break that. We're safe. Saddle? I mean, iron. I'll take that. Saddle? Oh, saddle! Saddle! Oh, uh, okay. Uh, anything else good in here? Uh, 
more iron, I'll take it. Yes, sure. Ooh, bones, that's actually pretty good. Um, spider eye, you can go take all the string, gold, I mean, whatever. Okay, get out and get our camel, I suppose. You put a camel in the boat. I actually can't remember. Wait, there's the village. Oh, I think we'll just scoot around those. Stay away. <gasps> There's been a murder. And another one! Oh, here he is! Uh, right, uh, saddle. Saddle. There you go. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Start sprinting. Oh, we got a camel. Oh, I actually can't believe it. I should probably grab a bed before we leave as well, seeing as, uh, seeing as it is night time. What do you mean I can't sleep? Oh, come on. Charge! Idiot. Get out. Don't hurt my camel. Oh, he's low. Oh, geez, run. I'll take it back. We're making a beeline for home. Right, home is over that way. Maybe about... A thousand blocks or something? I just need to get to a place where there's no mobs so I can sleep. Bed, sleep. Yes, stay alive, camel. All right, we should be a little bit safer now. I have a boat. Put the boat down. Go off the camel. Oh, man. Oh, now I'm hungry. Come on. Right, let me just get this camel in the boat. <laughs> Guys, I, I don't think the camel's going to fit in the boat. Oh, dear. Right, Um, unnamed camel. Come with me. This is your new home. Like I said before, I will come back for you. As for now, well, uh, I don't have the time. We'll give you a name when I come back. And you know what, guys? Leave your name suggestions for the camel in the comments. And I'll pick my favorite. But yeah, uh, see you back home. Oh, that was an eventful journey. Yo, that is such a cool mountain. We have definitely got a build there one day. But we're approaching home, as you can see right there. And I think it's about time we put a reef on that house. So, uh, time lapse. <laughs> Right, well, it's the next day in real life for me now. And as you can see, I got the reef on. If we come around the side here, you should be able to see. Need a good angle. Get me on this tree. Yes. Yes, you can see I've done the sides here as well. I mean, it's kind of looking all right. It's a start house. It's fine. Oh, hello, sir. Right, and yep, you can see I've done the back of the reef as well. But if we hop through the house here, you should see that we're still missing quite a lot of detail on this house. But if I want to detail this thing, I'm going to have to grab a few more blocks. I'm going to craft myself some shears so that I can get a few leaves and take another trip back to the cave because I want to hop down here not for more zombies but instead i want to grab a little bit more stone and i also want to head down even deeper and grab myself some creep nah i'm just kidding i want to grab some deep slate oh, i'm actually having to resort to using the wooden pick this is not good all right that's enough of that let's head back home and i also want to try and craft myself if i can some of you make some sticks yes a couple of campfires that'll do mm, and a couple of hay bales right i'm thinking here on top of the roof i can maybe get a little chimney in i think i'll make it out of deep slate for a nice bit of contrast all right a couple of hay bales a couple of campfires oh yeah the smoke's rising there's one more thing i want to do though i make myself like my hundredth crafting table this episode and make a few of these deep slate walls I think if I put these around the actual chimney, this should make it look a little bit more interesting. I got one more and you're going to go right there. All right, let's head down here and take a look up on the tree of judgment. And there is an acacia tree in my way. But that bit looks pretty good. Right, let me chop this tree down. All right, stand by for leaf despawning. Yep, all right, that'll do. I mean, I'm sure it looks fine. I mean, I could always look from over here, couldn't I? But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. Something a bit rustic looking. I think it's going to fit our vibe of this base very nicely. Don't forget to pick up these saplings. All right, I think one more detail for the roof. I'm going to tower up here. Start putting a few leaves around. I'm not going to be afraid here just to knock out a few blocks and replace them with the leaves. All right, we've got some around the window and some around the chimney as well. Yep, yep, that looks nice. I want to come to this side here and maybe start knocking out some of this wood. You have to bear with me here. We'll build up some cobble and andesite. Come around. It's pretty slab at the top and this is requiring a little bit more thinking than i anticipated i think maybe you can see where i'm going with this though all right we got that sort of shape there clear out this dirt gonna come in here with some spree stairs bring these right the way up to the top knock out this get rid of this glass and i think this is going to be our entryway up to the second floor i'm still gonna need to tidy this up though this looks pretty terrible and you know what that's looking a lot tidier i am kind of thinking though what if i come in here with some fences some trap doors and some slabs oh yeah look at that now we have a nice little covering for the entrance. Oh, yeah, I'm really liking that. But now with this side like that, this side over here is looking uh, a little bit weird. All right, just give me a second. I said, give me a second. And oh, look at that. We've got a nice little lean-to. Probably a nice place to put the camel, which still needs to be named. Suggestions in the comments. But with that, the exterior of the place is almost done. Don't want to put a proper entrance in here. I think we'll knock out a bigger gap and make some andesite stairs. And of course... A spruce door. And yes, look at that. It's looking like a real house now. Right, one last thing. Iron bars. I'm going to break out this. And we're going to break out this. Stair, stair. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. What's oh, looking so good? Oh, but I've still got so much more to do. And I am by no means an interior expert whatsoever. It requires so much concentration for me. So I think I'm going to get this inside looking a little bit more presentable. And once it is, I'll bring you back and show you what I've done. 
And a little bit later, you'll notice that all the chests and the farmland have gone. And I've sort of tidied up the interior a little bit. In here, we have a little chest room, which is looking pretty bare right now. I mean, that's kind of the theme of this interior at the moment. But if we head out of downstairs and head up these stairs, I've got a empty room with a couple of furnaces and a crafting table. And then through here, I have my bed, which has all my cool stuff in it. Now, we'll detail all this up properly, probably in between episodes. Realize I'm going to need my bucket now. But as things stand, this is a new world. I don't really have too many blocks to decorate with at the moment. But there is still one more thing I want to do to the outside of the base because I've eaten all my steak now and I need a better food source. So we're going to grab some more water. Oh, look, you can see the smoke. It's so cool. Right, now I can make an infinite water source. I'm going to clear out a bunch of these trees here because I want to turn this patch into a nice bit of farmland because, well, this little thing isn't really cutting it. All right, then, let's get some farmland done. Oh, oh, there's so many. Okay, sleep first. Sleep first, then time lapse. Okay, bye. And guys, with a farmland planted and a little bit more detailing done, there's only one thing left to do. It's right above my head. There we go. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. And I also hope you're as excited about this series as I am. If you made it this far and you enjoyed the video, please make sure you're subscribed. I'd really appreciate it. But until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.